We're here at Glenn Research Center in the Exercise Countermeasures Lab. Gail Perustic joins me now. She is the project manager for Advanced Exercise Concepts for the Human Research Program. And Gail, we have a lot of concepts around us, a lot of real things that are used on the space station right now. Tell us about what you do in this lab. Sure. Um, the uh, Exercise Countermeasures Lab is a place where we can uh, uh, test, develop new equipment for, for astronauts in the area of exercise countermeasures. Uh, in a uh, realistic environment here on Earth. So um, uh, we're developing new equipment, new sensor technology, new protocols to um, improve the exercise countermeasures, uh, hardware and routines that the astronauts use to stay healthy in zero gravity and mitigate the, uh, the bone and muscle loss that, that we see when they, they don't get adequate exercise. And we really don't think about it, but exercise is a lot different in space. Well, maybe not a lot different, but there are things you have to do differently because nothing to weight you down, right? That's true, yeah, that's true. So um, the equipment that we've got on, on Space Station now, um, we've got a, uh, an advanced resistive exercise device, which is a lot like lifting free weights, but in zero gravity, um, it uses a principle of uh, vacuum cylinders and flywheels to provide that resistive load. Um, we've got a cycle ergometer with vibration isolation uh, system, and that's uh, a lot like a stationary bike for an aerobic workout. Um, and then there's uh, the second generation treadmill, or T2, um, which is basically a, a commercial treadmill that's been fitted to a space station rack, again with a vibration isolation system. Uh, and as opposed to a treadmill at the gym where you just jump on and go, uh, the crew members uh, don a harness and they tether themselves down to the treadmill uh, with a set of bungees or a subject load system. And that allows them to generate the, the forces under their feet to get that impact loading that's so important for, for bone health and um, allows them to get a, get a good workout. So is that something like we, we see here or is this something new? Um, exactly. So, uh, so this uh, treadmill. Um, now, this is a. This one has an acronym, and it's a mouthful. But uh, <laughs> they uh, all are. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we call this the EZLS, or Enhanced Zero Gravity Locomotion Simulator. Um, we can simulate the uh, the ISS treadmill. Um, and uh, some of the unique things about this uh, system is that um, we we can actually float this on a film of, of air on, on air bearings. So it reacts to the, uh, the footfalls of our, our human test subjects, our, our human volunteers that we appreciate so much. Um, and uh, so we can really get a, a good simulation of what the, the loading regime, what the, what, what the um, exercise prescriptions are really, really doing from, uh, you know, from an engineering perspective in terms of loading into the vehicle, loading into the body. Um, so it's a, it's a great simulation, a great analog for developing new equipment. Um, so one of, the, uh, one of the, the success stories to come out of this lab is, is a um, new, more ergonomic, more comfortable treadmill harness um, that was developed with um, uh, our collaborators at the Cleveland Clinic. And um, the crew members were coming back from the expeditions uh, with complaints of the previous harness design of causing discomfort. And um, so we, um, we worked with the clinic and our engineering teams uh, here at Glenn at, and at Johnson Space Center to develop a, a new and better design. So that, that design was tested here in the simulator. And um, it, was, it was flown in uh, about 2009, 2010. Um, it was met with uh, uh, great uh, feedback from the crew and um, we transitioned to operations and now the crew members uh, each get a, get a uh, what's called a Glenn harness um, <laughs> and that, that was developed right here. So also with the success stories we want to talk about how these exercise countermeasures, everything they do is really helping them now. At first you didn't know a lot about what was causing bone loss and muscle loss and now they exercise two hours, two plus hours a day? Two plus hours a day, uh, six days a week. Um, we're, um, we are definitely learning more about um, the optimal regimen, the optimal equipment, what the um, exercise hardware needs to do in terms of um, providing um, optimal force uh, uh, characteristics, if you will. Um, the ARED, the, the new advanced resistive exercise device, which was flown on station in uh, 2008, um, provides a 600-pound resistive force, 
Um, and um, the previous IRED, or interim resistive exercise device, was limited to 300 pounds. Um, and since the ARED has flown, we've seen uh, crew members come back healthier than ever. So we are taking um, that capability um, and we're benchmarking it for our next generation designs for uh, missions to Mars, Mars Transit, these um, long duration missions. Um, all of that is um, being taken um, and, and the ultimate, uh, well the goal for the, towards the end of the decade for space station is to uh, bring that all together in an integrated, um, optimized countermeasure suite, um, which will be our, our best um, designs, our best efforts for, um, for the Mars mission. We're all counting on you. <laughs> Thank you, Gail, for showing us around. Thank you.